What's up? Here I am again doing another reaction video. These are fun. I like doing them, so I'm gonna keep doing them. Oh shit, I didn't do my guitar thing. Hold on. Fuck, I don't know what to play. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, but anyway, today we are gonna be reacting to Animal Collective. Meriwether Post Pavilion. Meriwether Post Pavilion. Yes. That is the album. I literally know nothing about this album. I've heard nothing on this album. I don't know what to expect. I've heard one Animal Collective song before. That's it, it's not on this album though. I've definitely heard a lot of talk about Animal Collective and that's kind of why I'm more inclined to check this out. I think this is their most popular album, maybe their biggest, I don't know. I know they're not really a big band, but this is kind of their most well-known. Before we get started, I wanted to ask one thing. I have a lot of vinyl, like a lot of vinyl and CDs and stuff. Let me know if you'd be interested in me making a video about that. I thought it'd be kind of a cool idea because I have a lot of it, like, like, hold on. Yeah, there's all this vinyl right here. So if you'd like to see a video on this, it's a new Black Mini album, <laughs> laying on the floor very neatly. But yeah, if you'd like to see a video on this, I'm totally willing to do something like that because that sounds kind of cool. But yeah, let me know. Okay, let's get into it. The first song is called In the Flowers. Sounds... nice. <laughs> Alright, we go into space. What the hell? This is very psychedelic. I did, I did not expect this. <laughs> That was cool. Yeah, that was In the Flowers. Super psychedelic, like super psychedelic. I just loved the atmosphere to it. It had such a cool atmosphere, and I think it's a really great opener as well. I think it serves its job as an opener very well. I just, I love how swirly it feels. Again, it feels psychedelic. There's just so many cool layers, and the vocals are drenched in like this weird reverb or something and then also the, where everything came in that was i mean the best part of the song but it was just it was really cool how everything came in and it's just it has this nice sound palette it's great really really great opener from reading the lyrics i mean i think it's pretty clear that this is just talking about drugs <laughs> met a dancer who was high in a field from her movement caught my breath on my way home couldn't stop that spinning force if i could just leave my body for the night also, I could see some stuff going on with another person in the lyrics. I'm not fully sure. Really cool song though, great opener. Let's just keep going. The next song is, I think the most popular song on here, it's called My Girls. <laughs> Good harmony. 
I love this part. This part is so good. Ooh. Transition. Wow. Okay. I loved that. That was so great. That was awesome. The thing about going into this album and what I knew about Animal Collective is, I mean, the one song I've heard from them is not like this at all. There's like no electronic anything or just whatever. Here, I mean, that's very apparent. And this almost sounded like a pop song at some points, but it's so earwormy and just, it hits, it hits the right spot. It hits the right spot. I can kind of see why that's the most popular song on the album, but I mean, man, like, that's that's a good song. I'm excited to listen to that again later. Another really great thing that I wanted to point out was the production was fantastic. It just, ooh, the synths, just everything. The vocals, the harmonies especially, oh, just all sounded so good. That was awesome. The message seems a little bit more foggy on this one, but what I'm kind of getting is that he just kind of wants the simple things in life, at least, like, from a glance here at the lyrics. But then he talks about on my father's grave a lot. <laughs> oh, but to provide for mine who ask, I will with heart on my father's grave. So is he saying he just wants to provide for the people he cares about? Huh, okay. That, the I can't, that was great. I, just, I loved that. I just, that was so ear, you know what? I'm gonna listen to it again. I wanna listen to it again. I needed that second listen. Oh, that is so earwormy. Oh, I love it. That great, great song. But let's move on. Let's move on. The next song is called Also Frightened. <laughs> pretty interesting. Also Frightened. I think out of the three so far that was my least favorite, but there were parts about it that I really liked. In the beginning I was sort of confused. It took me a se second to like get adjusted to the vibe and the beat, because the beat was a little weird. My favorite part of this song for sure was the the harmonies in between uh, those two sections. They sounded really cool and it always caught me off guard every time it happened. So yeah, I can definitely give it credit for that. I also really liked the outro. The outro was super atmospheric and it kind of sucked me in. And I, I really like that atmospheric, ambient sort of stuff that happens every now and then on albums. The flow of this album is really good, by the way. That's another thing I will give it for sure. I still think that this song is my least favorite, but there's just, there's cool parts about it. I just think that kind of took me a little longer to get into it. It wasn't, the parts that were there weren't as captivating as 
my girls and the first track. But yeah, that's how I feel about it. I do really like the fe overall feeling to this album, though. It's a really psychedelic, but also extraterrestrial feeling. Kind of feels like you're floating through space a lot of the time here. And, I, and I, I like that. But yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep moving along here. Next song is Summertime Clothes. <laughs> That is so sick. Forehead is leaking. pretty cool. I like that. Summertime clothes. It definitely did sound like summertime. <laughs> I think this kind of draws back in the themes with, you know, some drugs, but also wanting to spend time with someone, and I want to walk around with you. Just you. Just you, just you, just you, just you, just you. That was, that was cool. The only thing I will say is that the chorus didn't grab me as much as the other parts of the song, but everything else around it was just awesome. I loved that synth. I love the verse. I really think that the progression of the song was really nice. Yeah, that was that was another good one. Next song is Daily Routine. <laughs> sounds in this one.
shit. That outro was so good. That was, that outro was phenomenal. From, from before that part, like, from the beginning of the song until that part, I was like, this is good, I like this. And then that outro kicked in and I'm like, That was fucking awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Big fan of that one. I I feel like with the context of that outro, I'm gonna enjoy the first half of the song, revisiting it a little bit more as well. Reading the lyrics, I'm not really sure what it's talking about. I, I see that it's very atmospheric. It's describing a lot of daily routine stuff, or at least it seems like it. Keys and coat, shoes and hat, strap a stroller to my back, make sure my kid's got a jacket. Oh, maybe it's talking about, I mean, the outro is just, just a sec more in my bed. I wonder if he's just tired of day-to-day -day life, maybe. Guard my girl from mufflers, black gas. There's definitely reoccurring people, at least it seems like throughout this album, or at least there's someone he's talking about that he cares about or something like that. Hmm, all right. Yeah, that, that that fucking outro was so good. Oh my god, that was... Uh, okay, I'm totally gonna go just stare at the ceiling and listen to that song again later. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Next song is called Bluish. <laughs> Once again, a great transition. Tame Impala, is that you? those drums to drop out, it sounded so good. God, uh, jeez, that was awesome. Uh, I, <laughs> something about the feeling of that song just really grabbed me. <sighs> this album is really impressing me so far. Aside from maybe that one song that I thought was like, not as good as the rest. Like, good stuff, really good stuff. Man, I just, I got so lost in the feeling of that song. I forgot I was even recording for a second because I was just really getting lost in that. The lyrics kind of feel charming, I don't know. I think he's just having a good time with the person he loves. I think that's literally what this song is. Put on the dress that I like. It makes me f so crazy though I can't say why. Keep on your stockings for a while. Some kind of magic in the way you're just lying there. That's so charming, I don't know. That, that's just a good feeling. I don't know. This song just gave me a good feeling. I really, really, really liked this one. Probably another one of my favorites up there with uh, my girls. At first, I was a little confused by the flanger, but, I mean, as it kept going, especially when those the percussion came in, that was just earwormy as all hell. Next song is Guy's Eyes. <laughs> Delay in vocals going over 
each other. This is weird. <laughs> That was Guy's Eyes. I'm a, I'm a little, I'm just a little confused, but by the end, I really started to get locked in this song. What the fuck? This is so good so far. Oh my god. I am loving this. I've heard about Animal Collective so much, but I never really knew why, and now I, I totally get it. And I know that this is their most popular album, but I, I know, and I know there's just more to listen to, but I'm really, really liking this. You know, the first, when the first uh, bits of vocals were coming in, I was like, okay. But then the break happened, and the vocals came back in, and then I just got, I just got locked in it. It just had a really hypnotizing sort of feeling to it, and it kept having those delayed out vocals, and it was, it was cool. It was really cool. I'm, I mean, I'm a fan of that one, too. I'm, I'm just really into this so far. This is just, yeah, this is great. This is really great. I know that the album's not over yet, but I just want to, like, part of me really just wants to go back and listen to all of the songs I've heard so far, just because I'm enjoying it that much. Yeah, wow. Okay. Taste is the next song. <laughs> was taste again just locked hypnotized just i was just feeling it you know it's not my favorite but it's still very good still very good enjoyed it a lot i'm not really sure what the lyrics mean on this one there's a lot going on but i just i'm not really gathering a central theme except for the fact that it's, it's talking about taste every now and then <laughs> oh don't let your temper rise, don't get a bitter face, try not to judge me on my kind of taste. Is that just talking about how people are fast to assume what you like, maybe? That's the one thing I picked up on. <laughs> yeah, that was a good song, though. Definitely got lost in it. I'm just really feeling the vibe of this entire album. The next song is Lion in a Coma. Weird sound. <laughs> Alright, 
definitely the most confusing song here so far. Probably my least favorite. I I don't even know what like what <laughs> what. One of the things that did catch my interest though is the time signature of this song. It's really weird and. By the end, I think I figured out that it's in 9-4. I might be wrong. But yeah, I I don't really know. I just wasn't feeling that one as much as the others. It had a really weird sound. I don't, I don't really know how to feel about that. I think lyrically, maybe it's talking about just being overwhelmed. Maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit conflicted on that one. I'll, I'll see how I feel about it later, but probably my least favorite of the, the song so far. Had a couple cool ideas, but I'm, I just overall, as, as a vibe, I didn't really get into it as much as the other ones. But it's all right. So the next song is No More Running. <laughs> I loved that. I absolutely loved that. Why why did I love that so much? That was oh god. That was awesome. What the hell? There was something about that that just absolutely grabbed me. I don't that was beautiful. God, I'm I'm actually almost in tears. That was so good. Fuck, dude. That was it just had beautiful harmonies and lyrics and just it's so simple and like chill but it just has this feeling to it i can't i, I don't i can't even describe it it just kind of has this feeling i just i loved 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 that song i'm looking at genius in the lyrics there just to because i really want to know what the meaning of the song is just because i love the sound of it so much and i think that it's kind of talking about you know, he's finally found someone that makes him happy, and he's he's not running anymore trying to chase anyone else. He's found who he's content with. Yeah, that song was beautiful. I l just loved, 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 loved the sound of that. That was so great. The first thing I'm going to do after this video is listen to that song again. I, I'm, yes, <laughs> just amazing. Okay, let's keep going. We have one more song. This is the last song. I have loved this album so much. This has been a really, really good experience, so I'm excited to see how it closes up. I almost don't want it to end, it's so good. <laughs> Brother Sport is the last song. Open up your, open up your, open up your throat, and let the all of that time, all of that time, all of that time go. I know it's what? open up your, 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 The 
synth in the back. I love that. The progression of the song is super interesting. Was it? That six minutes went by so fast. Oh my god. That was literally the fastest six minutes of my life. Wow, okay. <laughs> that was Meriwether Post Pavilion. I fucking loved this album. I loved this. I'll talk let's talk about this. Let's talk about Brother Sport real quick. Really bouncy feeling. I mean you saw me, I was just like bobbing my head the whole time. It did not stop. Even though it did the same thing for a little while, it had a lot of changing ideas in the back, which kept me interested. At the beginning, I was definitely confused with how sudden everything was, but as it kept going, again, seems to be a common theme with this album, but as I, ke as I kept going, I got just sucked into it. I think that here, he's talking about maybe a close friend or something. Oh, wait. I know it sucks that daddy's gone, but try to think of what you want. You got to open up your throat. Maybe it's a brother? Or someone related to in this family because he's saying daddy's gone but try to think of what you want i wonder if the theme of the song is saying like you know there's you've had a troubled past you've there's things you know that have hold you held you down but try to continue on with life and make the most out of it it's my guess yeah that was a cool song though i i i don't think it's my favorite on the album but it did a good job at closing up the album with it being a little bit longer but also having some cool ideas and I, again, I really like the synths and all of the extra details going on in the background as the vocals kept going. But yeah, that was, that was good. Now as for the whole album, I just, I felt this album, you know? It just had a certain feeling and I absolutely locked in with it and just loved it the whole way through. It just has that sort of special thing to it that makes me love albums it just it has that it has that thing you know that just goes for it i really like the themes to all these songs they're really interesting and i definitely think they fit the sound a lot of the time i love the production the transitions with this album were fantastic from song to song the flow was just perfect i i mean there was like maybe two songs on the album i didn't like but everything else i was just completely loving what was kind of interesting about this album is there was the percussion was kind of a little bit more dimmed down, but not necessarily as in like ener energy wise, but as in what was used. Cause yeah, there, I think there was some crashes every now and then, but a lot of it was sounded like rim shots, just like hitting maybe some sort of rim of the, maybe the snare. I, I don't know. It was kind of, it was kind of weird, but really cool at the same time. There was just a lot of things that this album did right. I really am kind of blown away by this album. I didn't, know what to expect. I knew that people liked it, but I, I mean, I didn't know if I would just because it's a different sort of sound. But yeah, wow. I... Really good. Really, really, really good. I'm gonna fast forward in the future and give my final thoughts. So, thank you past me. It has been a little bit since that, and I still can very happily say that I love this thing so much. I have been listening to it a ton, and it just honestly is just getting better with more listens. Even tracks like Also Frightened that I originally didn't really like as much, I like now. I, it's still not my favorite, but I like it. Brother Sport has grown on me. I just, I just love this thing. It's so fun, it's so catchy, so memorable, and so like powerful in a lot of ways. My favorite tracks are In the Flowers, My Girls, Daily Routine, Bluish, no More Running and Brother Sport. No More Running is actually probably my favorite song on here. Not even joking. I love that song so much. I think on Spotify, it's actually the least listened to song on this album. And that blows my mind because it's just, it's so good. I love that song so much. It's beautiful. But yeah, I'm enjoying the hell out of this thing. It's definitely one of my favorite albums right now. My overall score for this album is a 9.1 out of 10. 
absolutely amazing. Thanks for sticking around till the end, and let me know what else you want me to listen to, and you know if you want me to do that vinyl thing I mentioned. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.